Hey there, it's Blaine with Seven Sons. I'm out here in the cattle pasture. Today we're going to be talking about how at Seven Sons we're using cattle of all things to improve our environment and to actually sequester uh, carbon at a very fast rate, sequester carbon and put it back into the soil. And I, I bring this up because you hear a lot these days about how cattle production is harmful for the environment. And it always makes me sad when I hear that because that means we as humans are trying to blame these critters here behind me for doing what they've done for thousands of years. They're grazing ruminant animals, just like bison, uh, buffalo, and antelope. And, and if you go back just a couple thousand years ago, there were literally millions of these grazing ruminant animals grazing and migrating the prairies throughout the world. And so it begs the question, you know, these animals were once a integral part of healthy ecosystems. So it begs the question, why would these animals all of a sudden be harmful for the environment? And the answer is, uh, it's we as humans, how we choose to steward and, and manage these animals that will either cause them to be a positive effect on the environment or have a negative effect on the environment. So here at Seven Suns, you'll see a lot of green vegetative growing grass. That is, as this grass grows, it sequesters carbon and puts it in the soil. And what these animals are doing they're speeding up the rate in which grass is grown here, thus speeding up the rate that carbon is sequestered. And we do that through management intensive grazing using uh, what you can see behind me here, this portable fencing to manage these animals so that they're not overgrazing and they're not undergrazing, thus keeping the grass growing at a very, very fast pace. As the grass is being pruned back by the animals as they graze, it gives the, chance, the grass a chance to grow back as we move the cattle along, thus creating this pumping action that is literally pulling carbon at a very fast pace back into the soil. Now, if you compare that with a different management practice known as a feedlot production, where cattle are taken out of the natural ecosystem that they would otherwise have been in for thousands of years and put in a feedlot where they're fed high amounts of grain, that means the cattle are not, not only are they not out here doing what they should be doing, grazing green grass, but they're being fed high amounts of grain. Grain that's produced uh, unsustainably. Grain that's produced with heavy amounts of tillage, uh, heavy amounts of chemicals, heavy amounts of fossil fuels, that indeed is an unsustainable system. Anytime you see a farmer that's out tilling the land, that means carbon is being released. You can't see it with your eyes, but anytime the ground is being tilled, carbon is being released uh, by the tons into the atmosphere. But what's happening here is exactly the opposite. So it all depends upon how we as humans and as farmers steward our land and our livestock in a way that, again, mimics ecosystems that are healthy for um, our environment. So I just want to share that with you so that you could have confidence, not only in knowing that the animals that we raise here at Seven Sons have a, have a great life, they're raised ethically, but also in a way that improves our environment. That's it for now. I'll share some more information in uh, below this video so you can learn more about regenerative agriculture practices and how it really presents a lot of hope uh, for the future. And I encourage you to like the video and share it with your friends. I'll be back with another video soon.